Hi, my name's Vero, and today I'm returning to the wall-capped curves concept that I was looking at the other day, and just elaborating on the families of curves and the different types of angles you could use when do, using this technique. So I'm going to still focus on keeping it simple, just using the wall caps and short walls, but focus on exactly what other curves you could achieve with the same techniques or slightly more complex technique. As viewed from above, this is the family of curves that you can achieve with half walls. So each one of these points we've got to by either using a whole wall and then a half wall or a number of half walls. And we can see the ratios by thinking about them as half walls. So this wire here is two to three or one and a half to one. This one here is two to one. This one here is five to two. This one here is three to one. This one here is four to one. And this one here is five to one. And each of these, even the ones that are far away, could be reached quite quickly. So if we used a long wall, one, two, half wall, long wall. Obviously that's going to take a little bit longer than the one I did the other day, but it wouldn't be too difficult if you were making a short curve. Here are a couple of examples. This first curve is the two to one, which is a long wall and then a short wall. Whereas the other day I made a long wall, a short wall, and then a dog leg in this direction. So this is curving off quicker. And this one is the even steeper one. The, this example here, which is three to two. While you're just using short walls and long walls, it's theoretically possible to use adjacency glitching So this point here was achieved by going one wall and a half wall, putting a long wall across, but then adjacency to a small wall. Let me show you that. Do that first. So we've gone one long wall, one half wall, turned a corner with a long wall, and then adjacency to a short wall and then used this end. And of course I've done the same here and these are actually two different ratios that are not found on this first one. And here I have gone one, two, and then adjacency here. So one, two, and an adjacency, and then a long wall to achieve this angle. Again, this adds an extra layer of complication and an extra glitch. But if you're only making a short curve or if you've got the patience, then it may be just the curve you want. Maybe you're following a landscape, like trying to put a nice curve along this landscape here and you want an exact curve. And then of course you could always vary the curve as you go along. As you can see there are lots of other curves you can achieve using this method and you could even vary the parts used, for instance using triangles. But I'm not going to go into that. There are plenty of curves here to be getting on with and you can always discover your own. I've been Pharaoh, thanks for watching and goodbye.